I'm Brenda. Welcome to Nana's Hidden Apron. Welcome to our kitchen. Uh, pizza, keto pizza. That's what we're going to make today. Have a little bit for lunch, snack later on. But let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to tell you is this is a thin crust pizza dough, keto pizza dough. And um, I have my <laughs> recipe for it here. I'm going to tell you exactly what I've got in it. Um, it's a cup and a half of shredded mozzarella, it's just like the fathead dough. Uh, three fourths cup of almond flour. It's got garlic powder, oregano, onion powder, Parmesan cheese, cream cheese, and an egg. And I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. Let's get started. I've got some stuff. There's my oven preheated. I've got a few things already started here. Um, you'll have to excuse my dehydrator going here and its noise. And it's taking up a lot of my counter space. But I went ahead and melted my cream cheese and the mozzarella cheese in the microwave. I did two 30 second blasts to get this consistency. All right, now. I might use my hand, I might not. Now I've got all my dry ingredients here that I'm gonna pour in there. And we're gonna get started uh, working this in. I like to, to uh, wait just a few minutes before putting the egg in because this is hot and we need egg consistency, uh, raw egg consistency not a scrambled egg consistency, right? So, like I said, I am gonna use my hand. I typically do. That way I also know if it's cooled down enough to put the egg in there. And it has, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. And I'm gonna take my spatula and uh, work it in a little bit so that I don't pull all of the ingredients off into my hand instead of it being in our pizza dough. I've got some dried basil over here out of our garden that I'm gonna use. I've got a couple of sweet peppers that we're gonna use. If you have a lot of sweet peppers and you don't can, throw them whole in a bag, in a zipper bag in the freezer. They thaw out very fast you can run them under some warm water. Thaws it out immediately. Don't waste your peppers, guys. There is your tip of the day. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go ahead now and start using my hand again to get this mixed up. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna pre-cook our pizza dough. And then we're gonna put our toppings on it. And uh, I'm going to use some uh, pizza sauce. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit. Now, this is going to be a first for me. Uh, actually, excuse me, I'm sorry. I actually got some of this. I have I've got used the uh, beef bouillon. I've used the chicken bouillon. But now this is going to be the first time that I've used the tomato bouillon. And I thought, what better time to use it than when I'm making pizza. Just to see if it turns out uh, what I what I need or what I hope that it will taste like. Let's get this mixed in really good. You don't want any pockets of the spices that we've put in there just hiding around in there anywhere. So give it a good, give it a good squeeze. Good, good squeeze. And then I think I'm going to put some parchment paper. I don't know if I'm going to or not. I might not. I might just put it, put a little bit of olive oil on my pan, maybe, to keep it from sticking. I don't know. We'll see. But I've got that ready. I don't know. You know, I believe, just a sec, I believe I do want to use parchment paper. I typically do, and so 
again. But it's not doing a good thing. So let's just get that parchment paper on it. And now, you can wet your fingers to keep your dough from sticking to your hands so much. Wet fingertips. And we're just going to press. Press it down. And then I'm also going to put another piece of parchment paper on top of it. And we're going to roll it out. We're going to try to get it as round as we can on this nice <laughs> rectangle parchment paper. <laughs> See about getting this. See about getting this rolled out here. You know what? I'm gonna take it off of there because <laughs> that's not gonna work. So we'll just do like I typically do. I put the paper there, lean on the counter, and then start rolling. Spin your roller off of your your dough. Then turn it around. Do the same thing for the other side. Trying to keep it as round as possible. Again, it's thin, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna get it getting thin. Roll that, roll it, let it go. Let it spin. Now I'm going to put this on my pizza pan. I wasn't feeling uh, satisfied with that while ago, so of course I plopped it on there. <laughs> totally not in the right place, didn't I? Okay. So I'm going to see if maybe Tom wouldn't mind to come over here and help me just hold this pizza pan for me so I can get our pizza crust rolled out as thin as possible in our pan. You know, I have to watch his fingers. Because <laughs> I do this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got that too thin. So I'll just push that back down. over here. Okay. Now, I'm going to uh, try to shape my dough some and just give a little pinch around the edge so that when we put our sauce, whatever sauce you decide to use, whether you want to put barbecue sauce for a, a pineapple barbecue chicken, that sound good um, or just a veggie however you're gonna do it we just want to we just want a little mountain there give ourselves a little ridge so that our sauce doesn't run out probably would help if you all could see me do that sorry <laughs> that's still a little too thick so I'm gonna work it out some work it work it Go back over here and wash the hands again. Okay, 
there that is now let's get over here and, and put this in the preheated oven and uh, we're gonna let that bake 10 minutes or so and then we'll come back and check it oh looky there nice yeah I did forget it's been a while so I forgot I did forget to poke the crust to keep those air bubbles out so we'll go ahead and do it now toppings yeehaw toppings that's what we're going for next This is all of my peppers that I've cut up. And I want to get some of that juice off of there because we don't want our pizza soggy, right? Right. So, I got a couple of paper towels and I put them in there and I'm just gonna squeeze it. Look at how much water or juice that there would have been. You don't need all that in your pizza. You don't want it soggy. We are going to put our pizza back in the oven. Just watch your edges. You know, you can even cover this with a little bit of foil if you want to. But do watch your edges to make sure it doesn't get overly crisp. Uh, but we're gonna pop this back into our 350 degree preheated oven for about five to seven minutes. And then we'll get it out, cut it up, and give it a good old bite. Sound good to y'all? I can tell you, you sound super good to me. All right. And over to the oven we will go. 
I'm glad it cooled down enough when I reached and grabbed it without anything to protect my hand. You know, like an oven mitt. Let's let that heat come rolling out of there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't that look good, y'all? It really does. All right. And we'll see y'all in about five minutes. Wow. <laughs> this smells delicious. And look at that. Come here, guys. Let me show you. Get a little closer here. Oh, smell of that. Yes. Awesome, isn't it? All right. Um, we're going to let it cool down for just a couple of minutes so all the cheeses and everything has time to set. And then we'll be right back. I believe it's cooled down enough that we can go ahead and, and uh, cut this and uh, give it a good old taste. Mmm. Oh, I'm looking so forward to tasting this, guys. I am. Yeah. Um. <laughs> we had a few leftover uh, cupcakes from a cookout that we went to that I made. Uh, can you see that? That's a sugar-free orange cupcake with chocolate icing. Oh boy. So, now I'm just going to throw a piece of this on for Tom. You know, that stuck to my pan just like I was afraid it would. But I think... I think... <laughs> he's trying to take my plate that I always like to use. <laughs> look at that. Wow. Doesn't that look good? All right, let's, uh, do you want a fork, dear? Yes. Now, again, this is thin. It's thin crust. Now, you can let the crust get as crispy as you like, okay? So, around to the mister. Oh, you want to step this, it down? Or? This smells amazing. because it tastes amazing oh wow <laughs> mm. all right y'all oh look at him grabbing that cheese yes yes he likes it mm -hmm. y'all need to get some laughing cow cheese and put it on the pizza yeah boy all right y'all mm. there you go um you can get my full recipe for this uh crust on my handcrafted by page on Facebook and if you have not subscribed yet I do hope that you will click the subscribe button click the bell so you get notified each time we put new content on try this recipe you won't regret it it's delicious y'all give me a thumbs up and share this would you I appreciate it thank you so much I've enjoyed our time together we'll see you next time bye